Bhagavad Gita, chapter 3, called Karma Yoga, verses 13, 17, and 18. second line say bunja de te dogam papa those who are cooking for themselves means they are self-centered they are only enjoying life for themselves and not sharing they are only eating sin that means they are producing negative karmas that binds them yagna vishist Whatever is left after offering, like everything offering to God is called yajna. After offering and then whatever is left we enjoy. The whole idea is the feeling that I am not the owner, I am not the doer, I am not the enjoyer. So with that feeling we give, share and then whatever comes enjoy as prasad or blessing of God. So when you have that attitude of sharing, you find joy. Joy increases by sharing, by holding, it constipates you. It creates psychological problems. Yes, But for those who are content within the self, who realize that I am not the doer, for them, those who are content within themselves, they have to do nothing. That means they don't have to do anything because they are in rhythm with nature, they follow the nature's rhythm. So they are not doer. Though they do, they are not doer. The stages of that inner contentment is called Atmarati. That means doing everything that pleases the self. It is not selfish. It is not self-centered. Instead of pleasing the world or pleasing the senses, pleasing Atman. And that is capital self. Pleasing the higher self. Atma Trupti. Then you get kind of contentment satisfaction inside and then Atma Santushti means total contentment and that is why when one goes inward and realizes this then has not to perform any action he doesn't have to perform as a father as mother as son or neighbor or the society because they are in tune with forces of nature whatever they do is actually Directed by higher power. Because this person has no purpose of doing anything, no interest in gaining anything, honor, wealth, fame or power. Those who are not the doer, they are not bound the laws of karma, they don't have to perform any action. That means these people don't perform action ex internally, but externally they are more active. Those who are involved in karma yoga, they work ceaselessly without eating enough food, without <coughs> resting enough, sleeping enough, still they survive because they are nourished by higher power. Example is Mahatma Gandhi, Peace Pilgrim, Mother Teresa, 
they are good example of karma yoga you can relate so they are doing very active service but they are not involved in it their mind is always at peace so this is the inner state of inactivity while doing all the things actively so real essence is not action or inaction externally but mental inner tranquility and giving up the idea that i am the doer jai bhagwan